Okay, we've been considering integrals that we can solve with UDU substitutions. Let's look at this one, and the next one will be a little bit more complicated. Uh, here we have the integral of y times the square root of 1 plus y squared dy. And hopefully, you can look at this and you can see right off the bat, well, if I call this part u, let u equal 1 plus y squared, then du will equal y dy every two times that. So let's write it like this. And there, problem is over. We have the integral of u to the 1 half. And y dy, that's just one half du. So with this simple substitution, we recast the problem into this form. And this we can do in our head. That's equal to one half u to the one half plus one. That's u to the three halves divided by three halves. So that equals one third u to the three halves u is this. And that's it. That would be the answer to this integral. Okay, now let's consider this problem. Suppose we have this one. We have the integral of q y dy. And let's see what happens if we try our crusty UDU substitution. So let u equal y minus 1. du equals dy. So now I want to rewrite the problem. So we're going to have 2. The integral, this is u, so we have u to the 1 half dy, that's just du. Whoops, we still have y in here. We have to get that expressed in terms of u. If we can't do it, we're stuck. So we'll go back and look at our substitution. And we say, ah, oh, we don't have to be stuck because y, that would just be equal to u plus 1. So, we go back to here, that's just u plus 1, so let's put it in. We have u plus 1 times this, and we want to integrate that. Now we're all set to go. Let's make sure. y minus 1, we call that u, so we have the square root of u, or u to the 1 half. With that substitution, du is just dy, there's dy, that becomes du, we're all set there. We have this that we have to deal with. So, one more step before we can get the integral completely set up. We go back and look at our original substitution. We say, oh yes, but y? That would just be equal to u plus 1. So put that in place of y, and now we have a brand new integral. Now it's expressed entirely in terms of u and du. So now we're ready to go. With this one up here, we didn't have to take this extra step. Once we took this one, we made our substitution, and once we took the derivative, we were all set up. But that wasn't the case with this one. There's our substitution, there's our derivative. It's all good as far as it goes, but we still had this that we had to deal with. So we had to go back and look at our original substitution and write y like this, then we were ready to rewrite the integral entirely in terms of the variable u and du. So now we should be all set to integrate. So this would be u squared times u, that would be u to the 3 halves, and we have a 2 here. I don't want to forget our 2. So that would be 2, the integral u to the 3 halves, we're just multiplying right now, plus 2, the integral u to the 1 half times 1 is u to the 1 half 
du. And this will be equal to 2. We add 1 when we integrate, so that will be to the 5 halves. Now divide by your new uh, exponent here. We're going to be times 2 fifths. This will now be u to the 5 halves divided by 5 halves, or times 2 fifths, plus 2. This will be u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves, or times 2 thirds. And let us not forget, u equals y minus 1. So this problem here, the integral of 2y square root y minus 1 dy, that will equal 4 fifths times u, that's y minus 1, to the 5 halves power, oops, now we're ready, u is y minus 1, so we have 4 fifths y minus 1 to the 5 halves power, plus 4 thirds y minus 1 to the 3 halves power plus an arbitrary constant. So that would be the solution to that integral right there. And again, with this one here, we had to follow through a little bit more carefully because with the other problems, once we picked out what we're going to call u, and then we we took the derivative du, the rest of the problem got incorporated with that. That didn't happen this time. That was u, we called du. Now that picked up this part, but we still had this we had to deal with. So we had to go back and look at our original substitution and figure out, well, we can express y like this. Then once we took this step, we were ready to set the integral up entirely in terms of the variable u and du. Then we were ready to go. So this one here was a little bit more involved than the other ones that we dealt with. And undoubtedly, uh, when you work some, some problems out of your textbook, you're going to encounter situations like this. So be on the lookout for it and be prepared to use it, and you should be all right. Um, okay, that's it for this video. Come back and join us for some other videos, and we'll try to be ready to solve some more problems.